Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patir here with a quick video for you today, a requested video from some of you guys out there. We have brought out our own homegrown chicky babies, finally to the barn. I do a lot of transitioning my animals, um, which I'm always going to advise you to be aware of. If you have a large setting of animals and a large barn, you need to keep things uh, to a degree in which they can be mobile, if you will. So, I have hatched all of these babies in the house. They are about eight weeks old. Um, they are from my incubator. They are, some of them are mixes. Actually, all of them are a mix. And uh, we decided to hatch these babies out. And uh, we put them in the house in the brooder. We eventually transitioned them to outside in the porch. Once they got feathered and a little bit more capable of doing a lot of things, we started transitioning them to what would be like a grow-out situation. Which actually a grow-out situation for me with these guys was simply letting them be in this cage. This is a dog cage, a large dog cage. We would take them out in our carport area and let them roam around in there or roam around in the grass setting. So now that we've come into fall and they're about eight weeks old, I'm trying to transition them to the barn. If you're in this situation, let me tell you what you need to do. If you have chicks, cheeky babies, uh, <laughs> or, or, or having chickens at all, it is important for you to have different things so that you can manage them as they grow. Okay, so if you've got an incubator and then you've got a brooder, okay, you're going to have to have a transition period, from, which is like a grow-out pen situation, um, and then you're going to have to be able to transition them to the rest of the flock. You can't just throw them out there, okay? Not a good scenario for them because you have lots of other animals that are going to try to establish dominance with them, and maybe they're not quite ready to handle that. I would say not. So what I do is I have two situations. I have large dog crates. Once I know that these are big enough that they can't slide through or get caught, that's when we start transitioning to these. These are old dog crates. You can get them anywhere. I also have a small, older coop, which I call the Love Shack. It's back over here. It's occupied right now with my cream leg bars because I've let them establish themselves in the barn, but yet separate from the flock, okay? They're actually about ready to get their own coop, so they're going out. But these guys are coming in. So what I've done is I've brought this crate in here. Um, this is a nice spot. This is not a very utilized uh, stall. It's open, so all of the um, hens and roosters are coming in. They're checking them out, having an association with each other, yet they're protected. Um, these are still obviously you know, babies. So up until about 18 weeks, you're going to be feeding them the more of the chick starter, which is what they've got right here, the non-GMO feed. Of course, they're getting fresh water with apple cider vinegar. But the reason they're in here is basically to acclimate them. Acclimate them to the climate, acclimate them to the barn, acclimate them to the flock. The flock is getting acclimated to them, but yet they're still protected. So somebody was asking me why specifically I do this. This is why. So you can see right here we've got a nice little mix. We've got a rooster in here that's a Moran Golden Comet mix and he is just awesome. So we're curious to see how he turns out in a leg. We've of course got um, leghorn mixes and Easter eggers and you can't mistake the hard rock, right? So we just wanted to go over this with you. Again, if you're looking into having chickens, um, especially if you're looking into every year getting new chicks, or maybe hatching out your own chicks, you're going to have to have ways to acclimate them. And I find that some of these, once they get to a certain size and are, can safely live in here for a little bit, this is a great way to go. We hope this helped you out. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and our blog, and we just love hearing from you guys. And we just like to take you along with you know our journey of all the things that we do out here. It's always in transition. It's a fluid situation in our barn. So be sure to check out our other videos. We talk about chicky babies. We talk about brooders. We talk about incubators. Uh, we talk about pasty butt. All of the things. So you go through a full transition of chicks from egg to finish with us. So we appreciate you watching. We hope you take care, and we'll talk to y'all soon.